What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it was a matchup against the Dark Looters. Uh, very good clan, actually. This one was actually really even, uh, but unfortunately for 2.0, we did fall short. 84-81, uh, to 81, so the three-star victory goes to Dark Looters, so congrats to them. Uh, really good attackers in here. See, they had no problem. Uh, Two-star in our 11s there, actually, with really good percentage as well. Um, you know, had quite a few TS10 triples and cleared the board on us, except for the one there on Andrew, I believe. Yep. Oh, excuse me. Uh, and you can see we missed three stars there with a three star um, difference in the score. So that's kind of was the t uh, tail of the of the war, right? It really a battle up top. We got quite a few TH10 triples in there. Uh, so, you know, we did a really good job overall. Again, still working on, you know, with the low heroes. Um, working on getting the two stars secured on those Town Hall 11s. It's not the easiest thing to do in the world. I honestly have no idea in the world how to do it because uh, I'm not there yet. Uh, and I'm even, I'm struggling like crazy at Town Hall 10. It's, it's, it's a whole new game, right? We, it's got so many guys progressing from nine to 10 now all at the same time. It's uh, quite the learning curve, we'll just say. But um, I was just going to rock through maybe one of these nines and then show you all the Town Hall 10 triples and we'll call it a day. Uh, wasn't gonna start here. Hood rat. Hoodie had a six pack. Nice job, my friends. Very nice war. Uh, so he brings up straight up uh, double jump gobo. <clears throat> Coming in from this three o'clock position, creates his funnel. Everything goes down. I like that giant kind of on the far side, uh, just so he could make sure his funnel was good. It doesn't even. It doesn't end up working right away because the king pulls the wizard over but then see that wizard there ends up taking clearing it up anyways no big deal everything's now going to go into that first compartment wall breaker successful here come the valks poison's about to go down takes care of the pekka and archers uh Again, with the P.E.K.K.A. and the C.C., it can really screw you sometimes, but uh, he was very, very safe on that. Under the poison with all that stuff in there, the P.E.K.K.A. is going to die very, very quickly. It's no big deal. Valks are going to take a few seconds to kind of work through this elixir storage. Uh, Golem's already jumped in this compartment. Once he's here, there goes that second jump. Going to open up that queen chamber, open up the core. One lone Valk goes to that clan castle, uh, but it's no big deal because the rest of the Valks and the king, everything runs right up into this queen chamber. Going to finish that off, and boom, here come the hogs. So he has that little, like, small bomb trap there, and then they run into a big bomb and then another big bomb. So he does lose. If you look at the health on those hogs, they managed to take down, I think, two or three more defenses before they die. Two of those die. But this one pure hog with no health takes down the sweeper and then jumps over to the mortar, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> just awesome. Very nice raid hoodie. Just smashed it. Bam. Drinking Bud Lights today. I actually like them better. <laughs> Almost loses hogs. No big deal. Tree stars in the bag for Hood Rat. Six stars. Six star wars today, six pack. Uh, so let's roll up a little bit. We're gonna check out these town hall tens. This was a nine point five, but Mal did a really nice job. We struggled with that base, and Mal just made sense of it for us. But might do that one in a cleanup video actually. So just make special mention of that. Uh, here we go. Endless going in on their number eight so you know upgraded infernos uh this base is no joke mostly upgraded two upgraded air defense uh, i believe the teslas are upgraded as well uh all crossbows yeah you know everything else is past town hall nine upgraded wizard towers so this base is no joke by any means 40 40 heroes coming in here with this little bit of like a queen chalk uh, queen walk slash charge i guess straight queen charge sorry my bad <laughs> i'm so tired uh so there go the wall breakers, opens this up. I love how the queen AI does that. When she's trying to work through a wall to take out that cannon, when you open the wall, she doesn't redirect it a different building that's closer because of the walls open. She just goes and walks right over to the cannon. <laughs> but whatever, no big deal. Rage is going to have to go down here in one moment. You're going to see it any second. Oh, wow. Goodness, cutting it close. I don't think he wanted to drop the rage there because realistically, uh, maybe he did. Uh, but here comes that CC uh, under two point defense during this does take the arch tower down just in time so really good job uh, I was talking about this before some town hall 10 bases with these little like long moats you're almost creating 
space for a queen to just step up and walk up that moat. Um, just because the defense is in, or whatever is in that little compartment. Uh, you know, so guys like Endless are really going to plan for that and know they're going to be able to get two air defense out of this uh, two rage queen sort of charge walk, we'll just call it. Uh, second air defense goes down and things are looking pretty. X bow goes down. Uh, some serious, serious value on this queen queen walk. So, uh, really nice job on that entry endless stone. Uh, the cold blooded golem goes in from the nine o'clock position. Doing a little bit of funneling work. King goes in, just gonna walk right in, jump into this compartment here. The goal is to get up to this queen. And we get this queen and a third air defense. Like, holy crap, some serious value on that kill squad entry. Uh, queen is gonna work her way over here and I believe jumps the corner in one second. There she goes. King's going to lock on, rage it up, down goes the queen, bam, bam, bam. I think he gets the air defense here and one more swipe. As soon as that golemite burst is going to die no matter what anyways. See you later. Three air defense he just got on that entry. His queen is still up doing work, and there's no inferno that that healer is going to slowly heal the back up. So the hounds go in, right? Two hounds in on the only remaining air defense, and there's not, like, look, 55% of the base is already dead. Look at all these balloons. Haste goes down. Haste goes down. Another haste is going to go down. Freeze is going to go down over this inferno tower. Bam. See you later, inferno tower. This pace is GG. Nice job, Endless. Very sexy attack. Great patience. Very nice walk. Man, it is cold down here. Boom! Tesla Arch Tower is not going to stand a chance. Clean up time. Sexy. Tree stars in the back. Uh. Number six, so Sir Mixa. So this is a bit of a bully. I like seeing these Grand Wardens in, in uh, action, though. So uh, this base is a lit. I'm surprised this is ranked higher than that number eight. Maybe the Infernos are better. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of defenses that are lower, like the Wiz Towers and the Air Defense. No big deal, though. Uh, Mixa is just going to go in here, open up this section of base, just do straight up Town Hall 11 Shattered Lalo. So golems go in, he really just needs to get this section of the base with both those air defense, the defensive queen and the CC troops, and just going to lalo the rest. Three lava hounds, 19 balloons, got rages, a haste, a freeze. So all very, very standard, uh, just Town Hall 11 bully, just like the old Town Hall 10 versus 9. Basically do a shatter lalo on as a 10 versus 9 at almost like almost any base is on uh, because you can just get so much longevity out of your heroes you can almost always get that second air defense you can always get the cc troops from the queen so uh very very overpowered bully strat as you can see this queen is in there still doing work she's about to go down though trying to work on that inferno tower i don't think she gets it in time but the balloons do get there in one second oh well, maybe i lied that yeah inferno tower is down but this one's going to take her out doesn't really matter they did their work but, like, just the rest of this base, there doesn't stand a chance. They just got so much value. Uh, Grand Warden even walking over and protecting those balloons. That's really cool. Bam, bam, bam. Everything going down. Just needs to work everything into this last inferno before these balloons die. Of course, that mortar draws everything up, but everything's now locking on the inferno towers. It is GG for this base. See you later, buddy. <coughs> Beautiful. I wonder what the time was on this one. Probably not much. I guess you just went in straight with the kill squad. He didn't even, didn't even do a walk. Beautiful. Tree stars in the bag. Job, mix it. All right. So here's another one. Um, this is this is seemingly getting figured out that um, the Town Hall 11 versus 10 bully is uh, really starting to come around. It's really just learning to step up as a 10 and two star and 11. That's kind of where I think our struggles come from at the moment. But a lot of it has to do with just the low hero values we have on a lot of our tens because 
we have a lot of new tents. <laughs> what else can I say? Um, but this walk is pretty much screwed from the get-go. He wanted to get the queen in there. Um, it finally she does go in there, but just a bit of a bit of a strange moment. Creates that funnel there. Jump goes down. So things are looking pretty at this point. Uh, still has the three-air defensive queen to take care of, but uh, this king is going to lock onto that defensive queen in one moment. Bam. So down she goes. Going to rage it up. A couple swipes, and she goes down. Uh, queen is in there to help him take care of those CC troops. Has not raised it up yet, but um, really, like, a huge, huge chunk of this base is already taken care of. Like, two-air defense is, is remaining um, with only the two hounds. Which I thought might have been a bit of an issue, but he just ignores it. It doesn't matter, right? One hound in. Let's load up the balloons on this side. Let's drop a haste. Once these defenses go down, everything's just going to get thrown right on top of that air defense. Second hound is now in, just kind of doing a little bit of tanking. This one is so far away that by the time all this is dead, and it's already moving over to this section. So uh, really only needed the two hounds there. I thought that was a very clever and ballsy troop uh, uh, choice, mofo, but... Sexy, sexy tree star. Haste are down everywhere. Just need to make over to that last air defense. Boom. See you later, base. Okay, relax, cat. Apparently, my cat's mad. Tree stars in the bag. So, in here is one more. These Grand Wardens are really crazy, you know, like, I, um, it's nice to see this coming around. Um, like I said, really, we're just focusing on securing these two stars on these Max Town Hall 11s. And I think once we get that, our game is going to seriously take a leap for the better. Because, um, you know, a lot of our knives do a really good job, for the most part. Um, first of all, clearing the triples on the... Uh, the ninth, but then as well in the same respect, uh, quite a few guys are very good at stepping up at two star in the tenth. So then it gives our tens a lot of shots at three stars. So that's that's really what we're working on at the moment. Um, you know, using nines to clear the nines very quickly, and then having nine attacks left to get twos on the tens and do a little bit of scouting for them. Give our tens shots to first two star the elevens, and then get three star shots on the tens. And then we can use our Town Hall 11s to bully. And that's kind of kind of our uh, moving into this strat. We just got to uh, practice a little more and things are going to come around, I believe. Um, huge, huge walk. Uh, I thought that jump was pretty interesting. Um, I don't think he meant to drop it there. I'm not 100%. Because um, quite easily could have just dropped back over that corner. I wasn't really... I, that's good. That had to have been a misclick. Oh, there goes the golem. I guess the golem was there maybe to tank. I just don't know why you wouldn't have just sent the golem in down here where the queen was and everything. Um, maybe he misclicked the jump and then decided to use it. <laughs> Either way, worked out very, very well. Um, and just wrecking this base, right? The hound comes out. Everything's stalling the Grand Warden and the Queen here. But it doesn't really matter. That uh, Grand Warden is keeping that Queen just untouched. Uh, she's going to work through this core like nothing. King is in there. Did his job. Took down the defensive Queen. Took down that Inferno Tower. Beautiful work. That air attack has already commenced. Rage and freeze down on the same spot. Boom. Everything just smashes down like nothing. One air defense to go. Really just needs to get the loons over there. The hastes are down though. They're gonna be there in one moment. Expo is down. Boom. Air defense is down. Arch tower is down. One wizard tower and an arch tower now remain. And the Cran Warden's there to give them the ability right in time. Just a beautiful hit, Mofo. Not sure. I'd really like to know about that jump. Maybe it was planned. Like I could see what you're doing that you just kind of after that's all done, the king's just gonna walk straight up into that inferno compartment. So worked out perfectly. Um, I just I don't know. Like I guess in my thoughts, you might have been able to just do do the same, but uh, just going in where the queen did. But uh, interested to know if that was actually what your plan was. I'm I'm guessing it was. Uh, so anyhow, guys, judge a few bullies there. Um, you know, crash the dark looters. 
they had uh, some really nice tackers, but like I said, this uh, this one was a battle at the top. Uh, things got cleaned up very quickly on both sides down low, uh, and that was it. Our guys just had at it, and it was a fight. And like I said, uh, just fell short on some of their 11s, and it could have been a whole different game. But uh, going to call it a night, guys. Like I've been saying recently, I've been crazy, crazy, crazy. We're trying to fit these recaps in. We just did a family scream, too. Um, so any of my viewers, I am going to link a non-public recap probably for that one. Just do like a special standard recap. I am probably just going to play some tunes and just let a bunch of attacks roll. Uh, anyhow, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser to try and help you beg that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.